Okay, just to let the people know on live stream that we are getting set up. We're just about ready to start the Tuesday, October 27th, 2015 afternoon session at the Keshe Foundation Spaceship Institute. This is for the Blueprint Teaching Week. And uh, this afternoon we'll get more, uh, Mr. Keshe will get more into the theoretical part of the teaching so bear with us for a couple of more minutes while we get set up here. This matters. <clears throat> Mr. Cash, are you ready to go? I've been ready for a long time. We're waiting nearly for half a minute. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, we had to do a nice, good fade out on that uh, nice, beautiful music that uh, John had provided there. Do, 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 do. We don't see any music. We just see whiteboard. You just see whiteboard. Okay. So thank you, uh, Rick. Can you start everything up? And please, everybody, start your recordings. Rick, you'll be recording on your computer. How wins? Are you happy with this board now? Is it better than the other board? I like this board, Mr. Kesh. It has many possibilities. Ooh, we're going to learn. The, the good, good thing, thing is, is I, I don't, don't have, have to clean, clean my hand with chalk. Paint and colors. That's okay, ready for more. Okay, so it looks like we're ready to go here, Mr. Kesh. Uh, let, let me just make the, the uh, official announcement that it's... Uh, uh, Tuesday afternoon, October 27, 2015, and we are ready to begin the, uh, the more theoretical part of the teaching on the blueprint for the uh, Magrav's uh, systems. Um, go ahead, Mr. Cash. Thank, Thank you very much. much. As usual, good day to you whenever, wherever, and what time you listen to these recordings. As normal, Tuesday afternoons is the health section of the Cash Foundation. And we usually have an open forum. People can join us from anywhere around the world on Tuesday afternoons in respect to the health and application of technology in respect to health. And every other week, we get our Chinese colleagues from China teaching us. and. Usually every week we get our Spanish speaking Mexico. Or they teach us what they need for us to learn from them. And sometimes we have teachings in respect to children. But mainly Tuesday afternoons is a public opening for the health applications. If you look at the structure of the human body is a one dynamic plasmatic system. Something which man never realized and has been in the teachings of the Keshe Foundation is that the body of the man is very much, if you look at it, just like this. A long, open-ended tube. This is the mouth, and this is the exit part. If you look at it, it's just one big, long sausage. <coughs> if you look at it, it's in a total vacuum state. Is 
in a better vacuum condition even than deep space. He has managed to create such a vacuum condition that can create life, sustain it at a matter state condition. So the body of the man on his own is the universe, well-organized universe. And it works in its own vacuum condition. And as we know, in a vacuum condition, everything is in a state of plasma. So, every piece, every cell in the body of the man is literally in a Gans state, in a plasmatic state. Because we touch it in respect to the atmospheric environment it's in, we have fooled ourselves to think it as to be a matter state. But it's nothing but interaction of the plasmas at a very high vacuum condition. We puncture it, we cut it, immediately creates its own sealing system. But if you look, it has two functions. It has connected itself to another piece, which we call the head. And what is done, it has connected one piece to here and one piece to the top. This piece to feed the physical part and this piece through the nose to feed the emotional part. So when, and you understand now that everything in the body of man works as a plasma in the plasma condition are what called the GANs, then working with the body of the man in the health section. We oh, just hold on one moment. I think we lost the camera. Which camera did you lose? Hello. Okay, thank you. Are we back? Can I move? Yes, go ahead, Mr. Cash. Thank you. So now we understand how everything can be affected in the body of a man without use of any medicine. Because now that we know the body of the man is made of GANs, and a GANs itself is a plasma. All you need to know is how much is taking and how much is giving. Just change name, make this the cell of a heart, or change it to a cell of breast. It's all the same. Each one has a given a specific mass that is gravitational magnetic field balance. And so all you need from now on to interact with abnormalities is just to change the environment or change the rate of the flow of the fields through the GANS material. We've seen it, this technology is as infancy, but today, Renan showed us new systems that you lot, if it's the first time you come to Cash Foundation, think you're really a strange thing. These people work with the twisted wires, which is nano-coated. These people put a wire on themselves and it works. And they say it works, they're a bunch of crazy ones. As somebody said, he has created a cult that they all believe in his lies. So anybody loses pain or changes because of anything is all illusion. Because it doesn't fit into the structure of the present abuse of medicine. Because you have to take your medicine, but now in a space with apologies, 
We can't take all the medicine and the tablets with us. We take it. Where is my pen? This lady has been using it since yesterday. Do you want to tell us what you see? Come, you are. You know who she is. You heard her voice. This is the voice of the translator in the peace conference with the world ambassadors, Serena. She's had a problem. She's been on my neck for over a year. Can you do something with me? I'm in pain. So now no. I gave her this pen. Yes, you can give her the microphone. You got to hold on to it. Yeah. I gave her the pen yesterday and she used it. She can tell you she suffers from the severe fibromyalgia. Very rare cases of it. But she's had a problem. You explain what you've done to yourself. Okay. I had um, my little finger here for the last two months was very rigid and sort of dark colored. And like I have a little bit of growth here in, on the cartilage. And it was all very rigid and very rigid and painful. And I experimented with it only for about five minutes last night. And all the, the darkness on the little finger and the rigidity went away in five minutes. Yeah. I just. It's, you can show it because it's feeling much better and and much more mobility. mobility. You're not that old anymore. You're younger. No, I'm young again. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. So you've seen it. It's understanding now that the technology is not just a pen, something hiding in it. We are so crazy that we show it alive. You've seen today, Brennan showed different type for different diseases. Now, the beauty with it is, the Chinese have gone even a stage further. Now they are making hats and helmets and body pieces for it. They fill them with the guns of different materials. And we've seen the results literally more or less instantaneous. Within minutes, within hours, within days, if there is an unbalance, the system, all it does, that's all the pen has done to her. It's taken from it what it doesn't need because it's giving away. And in a way is given to it what is short of. When the system finds its balance, when the cells find their balance in the environment, there is no more pain. In next two weeks, as we announce, we release the systems, very simple, for regeneration of organs, regeneration of arms and legs and fingers, because now we understand the same process has been the biggest mystery. We explain this because a lot of you are new people on the, uh, what are called teachings. All the Cash Foundation people know, people who are on the, the Space Institute, that one of the biggest mysteries for us human beings has been where the reptiles can make their tail if we chop them off. If they lose it, they build it. The tail falls off, and over time, they slowly build it. The tail doesn't get built from here and come. It builds from here and goes its way. Now we know the secret. This has been one of the biggest mysteries of the science for centuries. How, why can we, what happened when our toe gets amputated? Vince, I remember, maybe you can find it. 
I've looked, you, you know, uh, I've looked first. Let me get this other, the other one. I've looked for um, the videos that are supposed to be on the website about the brain tumor and that kind of stuff. And, and they were never transferred to me when we did the initial transfer from the old server. So I'm not sure where we... There should be a picture on the health side with the toe of a woman. Can you get Caroline on your line and ask her if she can, if she's got it available, she can transfer the documents or pictures of Mackie. What we did, if she, she's listening downstairs, hopefully she knows if a few pictures of the amputated toe, which is regrown, can be shown. What we found out and what is done now is going to be released to be done is we have realized now how the lizard did the growth. There is no mystery into it. There is absolutely no mystery because this is exactly what we spoke about this morning. You remember you had the copper wire and then you remember we spoke about the nanomaterials. If I can clean it up. We created the nanomaterials. Nanomaterials are like very much the tip of the pen, this pen. So what has happened is, if I get this moved up, what? Ah, there it is, she's here. Can we have the picture of Maki or are they in the safe? Yeah, that's the last pictures. At the beginning, where is the bat and when the toe is grown? Just check. If it's just uh, either way, we can show. No problem. So what we have found out, as you've seen with the pen, what the lizard does at the point of the cut, its body creates its own vacuum. With us, we don't do. And how it does the vacuum is it creates an immediate nano layer here. That's all it does. It creates a cell combination in a strength that the last cells in its body becomes nanomaterial, a nano layer. So what happens is like here. Any information comes, gets absorbed in the nano layer. As far as the brain is concerned, nothing has happened. Because in human race, in our body, when the information comes, hits here, creates, it cannot go anywhere the information becomes pain, and that pain shows danger. You don't do this again. That's how we don't do. We touch fire, we know fire burns us, we don't touch it. So when the brain sends information, the human body, to the point of cut, it says pain, so the body does not send any more information for the cell to carry on moving on or reproducing. But what happens in lizards, is that when the information comes, because it's created a nanomaterial layer there, the energy gets absorbed into the nanolayer and the brain gets no registration of pain. So it carries on developing. And what happens? The lizard keeps on stacking up the tail. And what happened? Because that nanolayer stays at the end, so does the tail keeps on growing. Because all it does, it moves the goalpost. The goalpost moves to the next stop, next stop, next stop, till as far as brain is gone, there is no more layers here, so the tail finishes. Now we know the secret. There is no genetic information. There is nothing in the memory of the lizard. Lizard has learned at the point of cut to create a specific temperature heat that 
creates a nanolayer at the end. The way you put the copper in a caustic, you created a heat enough to nanocoat but don't lose. Lizard creates that temperature at that point. So now what we did, we now understand this. All we need to do, it cost 10 cents to produce a specific plate to place in front of the amputated finger and allow it to move it back. That the same thing, as the information comes, the same process follows, you can grow the whole finger. We've done this, this is not theory anymore. Now we teach the technology. And it's done through plasma technology. By the end of November, Keshe Foundation Manufacturing in Italy we release 100,000 plates to all the hospitals around the world, leaving it on the conscience of the surgeons. When a child comes, he's going to have no finger for life. What is a piece of material you can attach to it? Because it's continuous, that's why I asked Caroline to release the pictures. The body immune system builds itself. The body immune system protects itself. You see inside the finger, you see the bones growing, you see the tissues but you see no bleeding, you see no infection. We have looked after this body for four months. We know it inside out. It's a dear friend of ours in England. But the science now understood through plasma technology. Because every cell at this point is a plasma. It releases information, and if it gets returned, it carries on. So. Now, with a new understanding of the plasma, new understanding of the structure of the human body, we see the whole structure of world of medicine in space changes. I don't need to amputate a man's arm because he's not going to travel for centuries in a space with the arm short. Immediately, within months, you regrow the arm back. But it does it itself. You just because you take that pain away, the body never knows it's missing. It just keeps on replacing. Don't forget the golden rule. The oldest part of your body, doesn't matter how many years you are, it's only nine years old. None of us in this room has a one piece which is probably 10 or 11 years old. All our parts just change every cell. It's like a skin of your day. Your skin changes every 28 days. Every cell in your body changes. So as you give it time, leg amputations, arm amputations, all can be replaced. One piece of part of our body still remembers this memory, that at the point of cut, it regenerates itself. And that's our liver, because it carries so much blood, creates that heat. So you can cut a liver, and it just processes itself. So if you understood this, now you understand the change in the structure of the human trouble in the space. We understand everything is based on plasma, so we don't need to carry medicine. In a space, I don't think NASA has ever reported a single pharmaceutical company on Mars or on Jupiter or in planet Zeus because man of space understand the work of the space which is based on plasma and human race through the development of the Keshe Foundation Space Institute has become man of the deep space. We train, we teach the totality that when man goes to space, him on his home is responsible for his health, for his food, because he understands the totality. We will not carry reserve banks of rice because there are a lot of Indians with us. And there'll be no curry powder. There'll be no pizzas for the, for the Italians and God help the Armenians with their kebab. But we carry the essence, the taste, the smell, the odor, the texture, exactly how our body remembers it in state of plasmatic condition. Then you have what you like, you feel. You know, as we said before, 
you can drink the same cup. One of you will feel the orange taste and texture, the other one banana, as what your body needs. They say, can you show it to us? Nobody has asked us, can you show it to us? Because how are they going to say the taste of banana from the cup? But they want to see the energy from the energy system. Have you noticed that? Can you show us the work of it? It tastes banana. Would you like orange? Now, the world of science in the space has become the freedom, total freedom, because now we understand the totality. If you understood the work, what Renan showed you this morning, and if you understood this, do you think anybody is going to be given a 15-year death sentence or 10-year death sentence when they change your heart valve? Because nowadays when they give you a heart valve, as I said before, you are sentenced. A lot of people see a heart valve operation, a freedom from the pain, but doctors don't tell you one thing, especially if it's a mechanical valve, Every mechanical thing has a lifespan. An average lifespan of a mechanical heart valve is 15 years, maximum. 10 years average. The heart valve, when your valves go. Pacemaker is a different thing. Well, you have a pacemaker, you start panicking. No. But, for example, what you can do you can create a condition now around the valve with a very simple plasma system that the body repairs itself. Life expectancy, another 60 years, another 100 years, because it's a natural process part of the body. Total cost, most probably less than $1. We're not talking about millions and millions of dollars of investment in plasma technology, because it's part of the process of the life you create gravitational magnetic field, which is equal to the cell of the valve. And the body itself, the way it found its balance here, it finds its balance here too. So you see the whole structure of medical application in a space has changed. We have not developed these technologies, as I said, for the mankind on this planet. But it's a fallout of the development, which instead of keeping it in the walls and secret banks and then patent it, and then somebody might break through it, and then us spending 100 years like our beloved Tesla's work trying to unravel it, now we all unravel it freely without any patents. And it's very pleasure. You see a man from Philippines comes online, very openly shows you what is for what. 12 months ago, this was unimaginable. That scientists, people share knowledge at the edge of science that most of people don't understand. They come, they talk, they teach each other, they show it and they go. Nobody could believe that this power unit and the teaching of today will ever be done. It worth billions. If you understand power gain, this little black unit worth, as the Chinese ambassador said, there is not enough money in the world banks to pay you for just a power unit. But the problem is, I cannot sell money to the people on the planet Mars because they don't know what money is. It's a man-made fallacy. So when we share it, when somebody in Africa creates a light in his house with using one of these powers and it doesn't break his arm and he can keep his children fed, warm, this is where we serve to humanity. And this is the way the Keshe Foundation works. We don't care how many people manufacture things. We don't care how much of our knowledge they use to become the king of drug addicts and drug supplier chain. We serve humanity that the technology is used to serve humanity. 
this technology already at its outset has created enough enemies for itself because again like before the financial income of it has polluted the whole lot of it. They come to the foundation as they want to serve and then they find out it's such a huge money. Cash is stupid, he's giving everything away. They don't realize I'm the rich guy, I can give as much as I like. My richness is my knowledge. Your poor and your lack of understanding, you're tied up with the physicality of this world. Because now you've seen it. People around us in Cash Foundation are devoted to serve without restriction on knowledge. You've seen, I ask if we can show a paste of the Gans, Armand in no time brings it up. This is what it is. This is the way the society has to change. This teaching of this week blueprint is not just showing a new system. It's showing a new path of living. It shows a new way, the way we share energy, we share knowledge, we share everything else has to become the part of human race because now we all can produce whatever we like. This was a fantasy. If we find the pictures, we show it to you. It's been on the website, on the transfer, it's been lost or it's somewhere we cannot find it. But there are thousands of pictures of the tow ground. The same with the brain which Vince spoke about. So, a lot of you who come for the first time on the Cash Foundation, you think there's a bunch of new lunatics? Yes, we are a bunch of the most clever scientists in the world, which you lot would like to join, but you don't know how. And it's very easy. Learn from us, we teach you freely, and share with us freely instead of making patterns and hiding in different countries for it. Because there's one thing very important you all never tell. The minute you patent anything to do with nanotechnology and against the way we've done, your patent is an open patent. You can fool a patent officer, but if you bring anything you patent to do with this kind of technology, as we have opened our patent, it's in the public domain, it's unpatentable. This is the foundation release, doesn't matter what you add to it, because we have covered everything into it. So, in a very simple way, the health, like the energy we taught today, has changed. Because in the space, as I always say, there are no hospitals, there are no doctors, there are no pharmaceuticals. And if man has such a big problem solving the smallest diseases on this planet, can you imagine what diseases us and our children will bring from a space that the people in pharmaceuticals don't even have a clue about? The only way you can do it is to understand everything in the universe works in the plasma, interaction of the plasma. You find the strength of the, what you call a virus or a disease, and then you give it a chance to share, or you give it to that it can share with you. It changes the environment. There is no virus, there is no disease. This is the most easy way to work, and now you've seen it. If you look at the structure, what Renan showed us today, he created a coil. I go there first, then go there, then clean this up. I'm learning very quick. And then go like this. He showed you a coil like this, which is like this, from wires. And then he explains to you why he put the wire through it that way. And then, if you understand it, he said a very simple word to you. But he knows what he's talking about. Most of you missed it. Played again and again today. He said, we put three of them in series together. No, the other one. Another four. He said, we put three of them in series together. Do you know what it means when you put series together? What does series mean in adding plasma power? 
What about if you put four of them in the series together? And then he showed you the same thing again. So this is a sucker of 12, it's for industrial, commercial in the political. No difference. Because he understands the totality. If it's a body of the man, he wants to go deeper. He puts more in the strength, but he can do it much easier way, but this is the way he understands it. I can show him with one piece, he can do the same job. But it's the way he's developing. And then he says, three of them in series. And then he says, 12 of them on the stacker. There is no difference because he has understood the principle of the work. Doesn't matter if it's energy or industrial use, or is it to penetrate deeper in the different organs of the man. And you understand, once you understand the totality, Without prejudice, people will walk through this technology. In the coming time, very soon, the way we are teaching the Keshe Foundation knowledge seekers here, we don't even need the lab. If you put your camera around, you see no tools, no benches, no screwdrivers, no cutting machines. We have no sheets and no blankets. We have one guy who's arrived from Cyprus. He's expecting it still after two months, a seven meter diameter aluminum foil. He hasn't managed to get it yet. It's still sitting there to fly. Because you need a plasma, most probably smaller than this size, but powerful enough to create a gravitational magnetic field around your body to make you to fly anywhere in the universe but it works in gravitational magnetic field, not in the matter state. So when it comes to the health, the structure of the health from now on will change. In the coming weeks, we'll manufacture so many of these pens, it'll be like the pens you carry in your, everybody will carry a pen. The minute you have a pen, you go, you see a lot of people walking on the street just penning each other. We've seen the Philippine group have made a beautiful pen set. Then it will be different things. You walk into the hospitals, most probably the surgeries will not be any more cutting machines. There'll be a lot of different kind of a strength pen. Can you hold it there for two days, come back, the finger will be there sorted. Cancer should not take more than three minutes to reverse. That's all you need. Three minutes, any cancer to reverse the onset and reverse it should not take more than three minutes. Understand, just don't accept because I say, understand why. You understood this? You've seen the pen? Oh, I don't want that, I want this. You have a cancer cell, you create a pen. Depending on its energy, you exchange, you receive, and you give till the point of balance. But you find out the cancer will appear somewhere else. We have this case now in our hand where the system is used, the cancer has disappeared. I should receive the MRI by Friday. Wherever we have used the pad, the cancer has gone. But now the cancer is appearing somewhere else because we were told it's only in one place. If I have my phone with me, I'll show it to you. i read you the report. So what happens? Even the most strange thing is the doctor after MRI, they, because they, we use the, the same technology on one side, now the cancer has moved to the other side. They've written it, there could have been an anomaly in the last MRI, but you can't cheat the MRI. The last one, it says it's the left, you can see the cancer cells. Now they move to the right side and the left side has got no cancer.
but why the cancer appears somewhere else? Because, very simple, the emotional part of the brain wants to die. The emotional part has decided, I'm going to finish with this life. What we've done with our paths, we are chasing a dead cat along the physical part. So the information is coming down from the emotion to finish with the physicality because the soul has made agreements or a condition that wants to live the physical life. So the physical life is setting it out the way it wants to go. If you want to stop the cancer, you don't do a pen on the cancer cell where you find it. You make the system for the emotion to allow it to come to balance. And if then it decides still to finish with the physicality, it allows it to happen. Need, want, be loved, to hate, is part of the emotion of the man, and it has a plasmatic condition. It comes from interaction of the cells of the human body. So it has a strength higher than the physicality, and if you can satisfy the needs of the emotion, you'll find out cancer disappears in three minutes. You don't need to chase it around the body, you go to the boss. This is where the change is coming. This is where we have to spend the future of the plasma technology and world of science in working with the real condition, not keep on operating chemotherapy, x-ray. Why do you get a secondary cancer? Why do you get the next cancer moving somewhere else? Ask yourself one single question. Why this body wants to finish? What's the reason that I take it from one place is like if you chase a madman. If he comes into a shop, he wants to destroy everything in the shop. Doesn't matter how much you hold him, you put him out, he comes back in again. It's the same with cancer. Why a body, why a life wants to finish? What's the reason for it? Not because the doctors wants to show the capability to change it. It's got to be, the question should be asked from now on from the emotional part. What's the reason that you want to finish the term with the physical part? Because the emotional part and the physical part of the human race are totally separate from each other. The emotion controls and the physicality follows. The emotion sits in the center and if you look, your physical brain sits around it. So you come to understand from now on, especially in a space, why does a man wants to end the physical life? And then if you can satisfy the terms that if the condition with it is, the biggest if where it is, if the emotion has made an agreement with the soul, then you cannot change the physicality. It doesn't matter whatever you do, it comes back. And on a given time where the soul has decided, the termination of physicality comes. You cannot change it. Because the life is not in the hand of physical, but it's in the hand of non-dimensional, non-tangible, which is the soul of the man. So now you understand how easy instead of chasing cancer, is to understand what does the soul wants from the emotion, that the emotion through its operation dictates what the physicality does.
you'll be amazed if you have worked as much as I have, that the brain decides even the second of death. Which day is not going to reproduce the next cell that can be end of life. Everything in the body of the man, when it's through a natural death, is already decided by the emotional part. To the second. Because the brain knows when that second is. It's predestined, pre-planned. Unless you get killed in an accident. The demonstration of this comes with diseases like ILS. It's the brain in ILS and MS which decides the time of termination. It's so precisely controlled to the day, to the minute, the brain has already decided. Today, I'm going to stop the last functioning of the thumb. Next week, I'm going to stop the last function of the index finger. You think they go paralyzed, they could move their finger yesterday and they can't do today, because the brain has already pre-planned it up to seven years ahead, up to nine years ahead. Don't forget, every cell in your body is reproduced continuously. And those people who don't understand the work of the physicality, they say, you have 90, 85% of your brain doing nothing. Every single cell in your brain does everything 24 hours a day, controlling your temperature, reproduction of the cell. All these billions of your cell knows when is the time to reproduce it, where it has to reproduce, at what density has to be reduced, and everything else. So nine years before, he has decided, I'm going to terminate the life. I'm not producing it next time when it comes around. So you can see how precise everything in the life of man is calculated and man has never understood. When you see, go and look at people with ILS. Look at the people with MS. They tell you, after so many months, this is what's going to happen to you. After so many years, this is the next thing that's going to happen to you. After so many years, this is what's going to happen to you. So we already know. It's not that it's not going to happen. It means the brain has planned it, and this is what usually the plan is. So if you understand this in a space, we understand the work of the plasma, we can do two things. We can give assurances to this chap here, everything will be okay. There is enough energy, you don't need to terminate. Then the life of man will run into thousands of years in the space. The reason we shut down after so many years, we become old, is because we don't receive the right amount of energy. And secondly, when we get old, we need to be looked after. We need to be given things, and the humiliation of the soul does not accept it, so instruct the physicality to do. Some people try to defy it, because the physicality has the strength to overcome it, but at the end is a submissive part. So, in the space technology, we will see, as I always say, a lot of psychosomatic problems. And as we lose most of our physical part in the space, we understand the work of the plasma of the emotion, then we'll find out we can last thousands of years in the space where we are happy with 50, 60, 100 years here, and we spend a fortune to live one more day extra. Where if we let the shackles of the limitation of the physicality go through what I call this sausage of life, that's all it is, the sausage of life. If you want to understand the real working of the body of a man, 
go to a toy shop and buy one of these cylindrical tubes which keep on coming out. You've seen them, they're about orange color, yellow color, and it's jelly, but it's a long tube, you can pull it. That's exactly the structure of the body of a man. How much you want to pull it? So, you'll find out when understanding the plasma and the way we share the knowledge of plasma, you can regenerate what you like. Physical damage now is not important. Then man will understand he's gone to a new dilemma, which is how you're going to handle the emotion and the soul of the man. Physical, we can repair. Emotion <clears throat> depends how good you are at it. But in a new generation of life in man, we have to understand the connection between the emotion and the soul of the man. Because the soul is sacrosanct, will not be tarnished. Emotion compromises. Physicality is literally dismissible. So, you understand in a space, the whole outlook of man in respect to even existence, when you understand the work of the plasma changes. You got to understand very simply how deep we want to understand our own problem, or are we ready to handle the problems? Are we become, have we been seen enough what I call suffering to become wise, to allow to, for the man to go to the next steps of maturity in understanding through work of the plasma. The body of a man is nothing but a bunch of dust, which is interaction creates the life of the man, which is the soul of the man. In a space, you work through emotion, not physicality, because once man starts traveling the space, in a physical structure, what you call a spaceship, you find out all the creatures of the universe more or less look the same. That emotion differs, but they work through the same soul structure. So, what it comes to when we put this, the blueprint. You all fell for the energy. But as I said to my people close to me, I'm bringing them in to show them the true blueprint, the blueprint of life in the universe. Because now you have everything you need. The position is, is the man or has the man has become wise enough to understand the tangible physical life is absolutely not worth bothering with. Then you understand through plasma, you can have whatever you need, whatever you need, as you need it, the way you need it, and is it worth it to kill, to destroy life for the blue? print of nothingness. No man has managed to create a whole man in one go. Nobody has the blueprint of life. But you all came here to get a blueprint of energy, which can change your lives, but in so many ways, it gives you the blueprint of the universe. This blue box was chosen especially to be blue. Look at the flag of the Keshe Foundation. It's blue. Look at the logo of the Keshe Foundation. That's a sign. It's blue. It's the sign of this planet. It's the way when nitrogen mixes in a specific condition in presence of hydrogen and carbon and oxygen creates a blue color.
So we are ourselves a plasma, within the plasma, within the plasma, and within the bigger plasma. It depends how much of which plasma we like to be. We are a plasma within the plasma of planet Earth, where itself is a plasma in the plasma of solar system. And I can go on to the galaxy, to universe, and to the universe. But the true essence is that all is the same doesn't matter what color shade you put on it. It all works on the same principle. When you understand one, then you can understand how it works in the other. You understand the operation of the physical life, then you understand the operation of the emotion. You understand the operation of the soul, you understand the operation of the solar system, the galaxy and the universe. So, what we do in the Spaceship Institute, we teach you the ethos of space. Not to make a spaceship, because any of you has the capability to make a space. If you detach from the physicality, you'll find out it works very, very much easier if you get rid of this part. And you only operate in this part. Any questions? It brings a lot of doomsday to reality that we have to judge ourselves and we don't expect to be judged anymore because we stand on our own legs for what we are, who we are, and what we do. Any more of 45 questions left? Uh, let me see. Let me count the ways. Um, yes, we have a question from Mr. Arman Golan. Okay. Yeah, he's got to go on the microphone. Yes, you have to push it, press it, hold it, it goes green. Hello? Yes. For amputation unit. Uh, For amputation we, can, unit. Yeah, can, You're no, going to no, speak no. louder. Uh, we can increase the information of nanomaterial to increase the information from the brain. Pardon? <laughs> I'm going to the invisible board. Do you hear my voice, but you can't see me on the camera? So what I'm saying that if you put the nanomaterial and put the current... It no, you it. cannot increase it. You, you cook it. You can't cook it. You have to leave things. You got to remember brain works what Armin is asking, if we increase the wire, the, what do you call it, current to the nanoplate, would we increase the growth rate of the cell? No. Because brain works on a pre-programmed. You can't ask for it because, yes, you can bring the energy, but the information, if it's going to be a nail, a bone, or a tissue, is not there. Emotions sit there and say, grow. Yeah. Arman, you definitely be more than seven months. Everything has to be in the rush. A microphone. Um, famous world healers like, I don't know, Jesus Christ or in the memory of man who had the power um, to heal just with 
hands or with will and other such no, he have, do healers no, you have, exist? No, 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 no. Let me put something correct. Okay. Present healers are not healers. Hmm. Christ was a true healer because he gave what the soul wanted. Hmm. Healing is the wrong word. Christ blesses his name and his soul wasn't a healer. He gave what the soul needed. These are the true healers. These are the true prophets of God. The others who call themselves healers, they try to enforce their will to change somebody's position. It doesn't work. It's very much a different version of chemotherapy. We give them a little, but they don't know what other damages they do in the background. Christ, bless his name, had one principle. He gave to the dead. It was the dead, the soul of the dead, who accepted it to rejuvenate the physicality. He did not rise to the physical body. He gave to the soul. The true healers are the prophets of God, and they do not come anywhere near the present healers. So when I see they come and say, I'm healer, I laugh. If I know what I know, and you call yourself a healer, God forgive the creator. Because they just come to give you, and they only tell you what they want to give, not you what you want to accept. That's the true healing, and that's what the Christ did. But big do su such healers, I mean, if we are all kind of GANs and nanomaterial, the principle of the pen and the principle of a human hand. You give the energy, you give the energy is the point of received which accepts or refuses. It's a different thing. Because you still deal with the physicality. This is what none of the people have ever understood in the work of the Christ bless his name. He ignored the physicality. He only gave to the soul. And then whatever you wanted to see, you saw because you saw what you wanted to see that you could believe in the work of what he did. The present healers is just transferring of energy. That's why we teach the science that you understand it. To be a healer, I have seen none. A lot of people claim. Thank you. Uh, Rick and I are just getting other questions lined up in the background. So if you have more questions there, that'd be great. No more questions at the moment. So we can go for a tea break till you find your questions. To understand something, up to now, the man has been too much tied up with this guy. Now, with this technology and understanding of the plasma, we teach you more about this guy, but in fact, it's this guy who controls the total lot. This is your physicality, and the man is too physical. You start understanding about the emotion, which controls the physicality, because if he decides to go, physicality has no say because it's got more power, is of the higher order of strength in plasma. And then emotion itself is in between the physicality and the soul of the man. And that's where it works. I see you got another pen. Do you want mine as well? She's busy with as many pens as she could get her hands on. Have you found your questions? It... I found the uh, questions. It's just uh, there's a list of 700 of them, so I'm trying to sort out which ones and which are correct. Um, <clears throat> Such as my questions keep getting ignored. Is there a better place for me to ask? <laughs> no. Pardon? 
Hello, someone is saying my questions keep getting ignored. Is there a better place for me to ask? But we had 150 Don't questions. Ask a question, just wish it, it'll be answered. <laughs> yes, that's right. Um, okay, there we go. May I ask a question, please? Oh, this is Sandy. <laughs> yes, yes Sandy. Um, this is Mr. House, yeah? Yes, he's here. <laughs> we're, um, we were.